my bad. With the new thing that I came up with, you do, and then you change L3 to jump, you change circle to edit, not, um, not to edit slash um, switch mode, just to edit. And then change X to switch mode. Because when you press, so when you press X, it lets you pull out your builds. And then when you press circle, it lets you edit. So with regular, with a uh, regular, hold on, let me show you. So if you change circle to edit slash switch mode, you have to hold down the button and do that. So boom look at the little circle in the middle of the screen it's a white line that goes around that shows so you don't accidentally pull out your builds while editing well if you do just edit you can do this it's instant it's instant just like PC reason why you don't see me going all crazy like the rest of these guys do is because these guys have their sensitivity for um, X at max and then they have their Y sensitivity at X at max. So they're literally just doing like, they're like, mm, 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 mm. So the, also another trick that I learned is that let's just say the stair, the stairs are facing this way. Always, if you're gonna do it to where it's only half a staircase, always edit the opposite way it's going. So if it's like that, edit like that, or edit like that. But most of the time it's a lot easier grabbing like that instead of having to look down, grab it and then slide over. So you wanna always slide from the corner that's away from you. Also, just in case there's an enemy sitting there, you can just do that. Now, I prefer there to be console uh, keybinds for uh, not just like, n not just for like whatever you wanna call it. Sorry, not just for like uh, building and editing, but for like the people who wanna like actually do it too. Sorry, I had a little bit of lag there. But yeah, that's basically it. So I was just trying to show you guys that uh, Keybinds is a lot stronger because also um, when you're jumping around and stuff, it makes flick shots 30 times better. Hold on, let me turn down my ear, ear phone sound, uh, earbud sound. Cause see, with doing right, cause with doing this, you can, without using the claw technique being a regular human, you can go and be like, boom. Sorry, I'm still getting used to it. Boom. Like, it makes it a lot easier instead of having to jump and then turn. So it's like... So, with regular, I'd assume, like, without switching over and not taking so long, with regular, it'd just be like... But with this, you can do it at the exact same time. Or you can do what my friend Caden does, which is where he angles his thumb downward, and then he puts his uh, thumb on the uh, on X and on the control stick, and it does the same exact thing. But like, here, let me show you on regular. So Builder Pro, save. So I'm on Builder Pro right now. You guys just saw me switch. I used, I'm so used to Builder Pro, like, See, but now I'm not. Like, it feels weird because I got, it took me all last night to get used to pressing L3 as jump to where now I'm just pressing it. So it's like, I don't know what I'm doing.
But here, give me like 30 seconds and I can do it. But like, you guys know how I used to be on Builder Pro if you guys like constantly watch my videos and my streams. You guys know how I used to play. See, I'm making the same mistakes that I was making originally. But yeah, so you guys get the gist of it. I highly suggest slash recommend that you guys change it to this because I've been doing pretty good with it. I dropped like an 11 kill game earlier doing it. Um, uh, I suggest having like an eight for your Y and then a nine for your X. Cause a lot of the time who ends up in these scenarios, let's just say my pickaxe is my weapon. So you're running and you two are fault. And then next thing you know, you shoot, somebody shoots you down and you have to jump and shoot above you real quick with your shotgun. Or it's like, or it's like he's above you and you have to shoot like that. So it's like, but you forgot to build or something, so you jump and shoot. Like. But it's just, it makes it so much easier. You can jump and shoot at the same time. Yes, it will take a lot of getting used to. I wouldn't really necessarily recommend messing with the build controls because it's basically the same exact thing. Uh, and it's pretty good alone. But, um, or if you guys prefer Combat Pro, you guys could just go and do this. You could change it from a uh, stair roof piece to where you could uh, change it to whatever uh, Combat Pro has it as. Let me see what Combat Pro has it as. Uh, change or previous building piece and uh, next building piece you could have it for that I mean if they have that selection yeah previous piece next piece so you guys could just do this you guys could do that And then you guys could have uh, L2, R2 as uh, change building material. And then you could have R2 as place. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like, that's what I like about this new uh, thing is that you guys can, um, just that like, you can do whatever you want with it. That's what, that's my favorite thing about this. Like, that's why I like it so much because everybody's complaining like, oh, Keybinds is so overpowered because, oh, I did it completely wrong. But yeah, like, there you go, that feels more.
But it's like, okay, so after this, I'm gonna upload another video about, um, like, what to do in a build fight. I know I'm not Swavy Lewis or HULVC, don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm just gonna call him that for now. But, like, still, this... But see, what I'm gonna try and do, it, I'm gonna try and make my uh, tips, like, reach out to all kinds of players, like Switch and Xbox, not just PlayStation. Like, that's how um, HLVC and Swavy Lewis does it. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and post this video. Uh, it should be up in however long. It might take an hour, might take ten minutes. I don't know. Uh, depends on how many people in my house are on the Wi-Fi right now. But, uh, yeah, peace out. Uh, I'm gonna make a next video today.